Hello friends, in this lesson I will try to explain you the types of resistors used in almost all electrical and electronic circuits. As in other circuit devices, there are many types of resistors. We will study what these are and how they are used. The unit of the resistors are ohms and they are indicated with the letter R in the circuit. As you can see here, we can analyze the resistors in three groups fixed resistors, variable resistors and dependent resistors. Variable and dependent resistors are also available in different versions. I will try to explain the types of resistors in three different videos so that the lesson gets not too long. In this lesson we will analyze the fixed resistors. Now let's take a look at the shapes, symbols, features and how they are used in the circuit. All of the resistors you see in the figure are fixed resistors. The values of these resistors do not change with the environmental effects and are used to fix the circuit current at a certain value. The reason of the different structures is that the current intensity of the circuit to be used is different. The materials used in fixed resistors differ. The value of these resistors can either be written on or understood by looking at the color codes on them. There are two types of circuit symbols used for fixed resistors. It is possible to come across the use of both of these symbols. To better understand the basic role of resistors in the circuit, we can analyze this figure. A current occurs as a result of the movement of electrons in an electrical circuit. The force that creates current by moving these electrons is voltage. It is the resistance that limits the current by reducing the flow of electrons. There is a current equal voltage divided by resistance relationship between the three of them. If we show them in letters, I equal V divided by R. This ratio between the three is Ohm's law. We can show this shape as an electrical circuit. For example, take the resistance value 2.2 kilo ohm and the voltage value 9 volt on this circuit. According to Ohm's law, the current is approximately 4 milliamperes. If the resistor value increases here, the current value decreases because Resistance and current intensity are inversely proportional. So how to use a fixed resistor circuit? Now let's look at it. Let's learn the basic usage through a simple circuit. For example, let's have a 9 volt voltage source. With this source, we will ensure that a LED is properly illuminated. When we connect the source directly to the LED, a current flows through the circuit and the LED gives light. However, since this current flowing through the circuit is high, the LED burns out after a short time and no current flows through the circuit. Because for a LED to work properly, the current that it flows on it must be between 15 and 30 milliamperes. But if we connect the LED to this source together with a resistance of 330 ohm, the LED will light for a long time without any damage because the current flowing through the circuit will be around 27 milliamperes. The current flowing through the circuit should be adjusted with suitable resistors in order to prevent damage to the circuit elements used. If we want to use this LED properly with 12 volt voltage source, this time we should use higher one such as 470 ohm resistor. Thus, since a current of approximately 25 milliamperes will flow through the circuit, LED gives light for a long time without any damage. It doesn't matter if the resistance is here or there, because as the same current will flow through all circuit elements in series circuits, this will not change the current intensity flowing through the LED. Let's look at another example of how to use fixed resistors. Let's connect 100 ohm resistor to power source as shown here. According to the current flowing through this circuit, our lamp gives a certain amount of light. 
when we connect the same power source to this lamp with a resistor of 330 ohm we can see that the brightness of lamp is slightly reduced as less current will flow through the circuit when we connect a higher resistor such as 470 ohm the current will reduce even more so the brightness of the lamp will be reduced a little more as seen the resistance value has determined the intensity of the current flowing through the circuit if we increase the resistance value even more the current flowing through the circuit will be much lower and maybe not enough for the lamp to light up when we need higher resistors we can connect the resistors in series because in series connected resistors equivalent resistance is equal to total value of resistors for example as you can see here if we connect two resistors of 100 ohm and 470 ohm in series and if we measure the total resistance with the help of a multimeter we can get the total value of 570 ohm of course since fixed resistors also have certain positive and negative tolerance value this value can be measured in a lower or higher amount when we need lower resistors we can connect lower resistors in parallel because in parallel connectors resistors equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of inverse of resistors for example as you can see here if we connect two 100 ohm resistors in parallel and measure the total resistance with the help of a multimeter we see the total value of the inverse of the two 50 ohm Nowadays electronic cards have become smaller and correspondingly the circuit elements used on these cards are now reduced to much smaller size. Therefore the resistors used on these cards are used as surface mounting devices as shown. These resistors can be used in this way by connecting directly to the circuit board. SMD resistors are widely used because they are light, cheap, small and can be placed close together on the circuit board. Resistors are most commonly used analog circuit element compatible with surface mounting technology. The numbers and the letters on them show the resistance value. There may be resistors of the same value close together on electronic boards. In such a case, the integrated resistor you see in the figure can be used. It is the type of resistor obtained by placing a large number of fixed resistors in one integrated circuit. In the IC, each pin of all resistors is jointly connected and the other pins are free. For example, in the integrated resistor you see here, there are five resistors with a value of 10 kilo ohm aligned side by side. In this lesson, we have studied the working principle and the types of fixed resistors. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in our next lesson. Goodbye.